Uh, this In is the our of the street, man. This is our intro shot. Guys, as you can clearly see, we are at in front of a factory, WP, and we promised you in the recent vlog we're gonna visit a very interesting factory, and that's exactly today. And that's our new suspension partner, and we're gonna make a very nice suspension for my 790 Duke. So let's go inside. The 790 is still stock and this is today the first upgrade of my future stunt bike and the guy said they prepared something special for me so let's go check it out. They said they should be somewhere here at the coffee place. Hey guys. Hi. Jan, right? Yes, okay. that's right. Rock. Nice to meet you. What? Max. Rock. Andy. Andy. Nice Hello. You. That's my for for everybody. Hello. That, my that, name is Anton. Anton. <laughs> <laughs> For everybody that is watching this vlog, this is Thomas Kutruf and he is the first guy that brought me here to KTM. Do you remember how many years ago was that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was in 2010. Exactly. So we are now almost 10 years. Anniversary is coming up. Next time you <laughs> arrive with a big cake. Big cake, okay. <laughs> deal done, deal done. Big cake next year. <laughs> and? Hi, Diesel. Diesel. So uh, this is our team today. And after the coffee, we're gonna go to the bike and we make a plan what we're gonna build. Okay, guys, what do you say about my 790? Is it nice? It is, of course. <laughs> but I think you need something special. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why we came here to make something special for my 790. By the way, once again, this is Andy. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Andy Schilling. I'm responsible for the aftermarket suspension development. And Max? Also, hello from my side. My job here is to build the suspension. Okay. I'm a WP Technican. I try to help you today to find your best setup for you. Thank you very much. That's so you're gonna help me also to rebuild the suspension? Yes, we build it. Okay. We take it out from the bike. We make a rebuild on the suspension itself, uh -huh. put it back in and then you can start to ride. Cool, that's why I took the white shirt, so that means I'm gonna uh, just watch and you're gonna do the uh, job. <laughs> I was thinking you are I'm gonna coming, switch. Uh, no, to get a little bit of oil, let's say. Yeah, okay, <laughs> uh, let's put some oil in my t-shirt. I like to wrench also, so I'm gonna for sure help you. Okay. That's our the front cartridges, I see it right. already. So. What we have here is our new open cartridge system. We're talking about a 23 millimeter aluminum cartridge, 12 millimeter aluminum piston rod. The cartridge kit, uh, it's fully adjustable as well, like the shock absorber. We can easily adjust it from the rider position. The right hand stanchion is rebound adjustment. The, uh -huh, okay. And the left hand stanchion is for compression adjustment. How do I know that this, this is rebound? A rebound, as you okay. can see here. And this is a rebound knob. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the preload is here written. What you can do is, with a spanner, you can easily adjust the preload minus three millimeter and uh -huh, plus uh -huh. three millimeter. Okay, I understand. And That's very nice that it's very visible. Correct. Yeah, uh, because I see on some, they, don't, they didn't have right. the, the, the writing on it, so I didn't know, it, I needed to remember the color. The blue one was the rebound. For example, the red one was the Correct. compression. So I needed to remember, good that yeah. we have this here. But on top, it's easily to remember red, rebound, right. Ah, okay, everything is with R. Correct. Okay, okay that's easy then. Yeah. Can I see that? Sure. Oh man, you don't even feel it, man. Uh, on my uh, 690, we have a suspension there, very old one. It feels very heavy. Yeah. You know, when I pull up the bike, I feel the, the weight on the yeah. front. Like in racing, the more lighter it is, the easier Correct. it is. So, right. especially when you do circle wheelies and the bike feels lighter, makes the whole job even uh, right. better and faster and very very excited about it. I mean this. that's that's the reason why we are using aluminium materials. Aluminium. You know, but I'm riding very aggressively, right? Correct. This fork is gonna work perfectly or do we need to tune them a little bit still or so let's say for the for 90-95% the fork is working perfectly. For, for the customer for the normal customer that goes on the weekends for racing Correct. Correct. Uh, this is the, the thing to have. Especially for your demand for sure we should consider a, a stiffer spring for example. Okay. So here standard wise we are talking about a 6.5 Newton spring, uh -huh. a linear one, mm -hmm. a polished one. And what we have for you, Rob, ah, okay. we have stiffer springs also available. So we have, for example, uh, 7.5 Newton per millimeter spring. I think this one would fit perfectly to your demands. 
so I can see if I'm getting they are thicker or just longer. They are not longer. They are thicker because it's it's just a matter of preload. Ah, yeah, preload. Yeah. So when you preload it, they are the same size. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So we're talking about windings. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. we are talking about thickness of the wire. That's ah, it. Yeah, yeah. That, that makes, makes the difference. Correct. Uh -huh. So I have now the stiffer. So if I do like a kangaroo stop it, so if I press it in, it's not like bam on, on the limit. It's Correct. going slower together. Exactly. And that's very important for me yeah, because I'm, I'm riding on the stock suspension and that's going to make a big difference. Probably. Of course. I mean, we need to test it first, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for the explanation. Max, I would say we start to make our hands dirty. Yes, we try to fix it in the bike. Okay. Now, first we have to take out the suspension from the bike. Okay. Then we will open the front fork to, to bring replace in it. the new cartridge in your own bike. And then, yeah, yes, you are ready to ready. go for a test ride. Okay, let's do this. Next thing, what we're gonna do is remove the front brakes, the fender, everything, so we can remove the forks down from the bike and so we can rebuild them. Done, one more to go. So now we have disassembled the cartridge now because Rock needs a stiffer spring for especially his options. Now there was the six and a half in and we built in a seven and a half but first of all we have to check the spring length together with our spacers because every single spring has tolerances on so we need to measure the right spring length together with the spacers also this one and now I can see it's a little bit different so we need to add a really small spacer to bring the spring together with the shims on the same length. So that would be great if we can build in this one now in the cartridge. We are ready to install the cartridge into our fork. Maybe Kuti uh, can explain something when we are talking about the WP. You are the guy for the international communication. So Kuti knows a lot about WP also. So what is the mission of WP? What can we expect? For example, we didn't have a racing suspension for the 790. Now we have it. So it's a lot of products coming out very, uh, very quickly. So what is the mission of ROC? I see a lot of similarities between ROC and WP. Okay. We have big targets. We have big goals. That's we are very much focused and we have a lot of energy. It is a lot of uh, energy going into product development okay. and uh, the team right now at WP was growing so much. There's a really such a good infrastructure available now here yeah, yeah. in this factory. And I see also the factory is growing so quick day by day. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Actually now yeah. everything is in place to develop the company further and further to become really the leading supplier for yeah, suspensions. Yeah. This is the goal. It's a, it's a long-term process, uh -huh. but everything is in place 
Yeah, yeah. And working with you is just another element to to bring WP to the this place in the market where it belongs. Exactly. We are searching for good partners, you know, to, to make some cool projects to, to, to get to the next level. WP is my future sponsor and my bike is going to be now all with the uh, racing suspension. So that means my trick is going to get to the next level, right? Get in front together. Exactly. Thank you, Rob. Man, this is so nice. We have buttons now on the front forks. So the cartridges are also, done. Also one for compression side. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not just one side. They are done. We have new cartridges now inside on the fork and we can put them back on the bike and we are done with the front part. Okay, both are adjusted, same level. That's it, job done. Okay, front part is done. Max, start good. in the rear. Good job, let's, let's, do, let's do the rear part. Okay, let's, let's see this. All right, special well, thing. Well, Rob. Okay, stickers, stickers. Yeah. That's Who doesn't person. like stickers, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm happy to present you our brand new Streetland product. Okay. It's a Apex Pro, especially made for the Duke 790. So this is the shock, how it's out of the box. It's fully adjustable. We have rebound adjustment. We have high, low speed compression adjustment. Uh -huh. We have preload adjusters. Optional wise, we have an hydraulic preload adjuster as well. So that means when you want to compress the spring, you okay. have to use a special tool for that. And when you exchange it to a hydraulic one, you can easily adjust it via a hex. So, so if, if I want to have a stiffer suspension, I need to change the compression, right? So I need to make it harder. To make it harder, for sure, you need different spring. Okay, so that's spring. for sure something what is different to the standard suspension from the stock suspension. Okay. So what we have here is 150 Newton spring. Okay. So this is different to the standard one. Uh -huh. There we are talking about 130 milli uh, Newton spring. Uh -huh. And that one is a harder spring. That's, that one is harder to have much more sporty riding uh -huh. and so on. We so have enough of sporty riding here, Dominic, right? In mm -hmm. our stunts. <laughs> Plenty enough. And on top, when you want to have a different seat height, mm -hmm. a balance of the bike, you can easily adjust the preload. Then uh -huh. you can uh -huh. easily okay. adjust the, the seat height of the bike. Uh -huh. It's a preload adjuster. That's not heavy at all. No, it's lighter than the stock suspension. Yeah, yeah. But there we are talking about external piggyback, we are talking about uh, preload adjuster, we are talking yeah. about fully adjustable and it's uh, still lighter, still than, lighter the, than the stock suspension. Than the stock suspension. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in the box. Okay guys, the bike is ready, front suspension is done, rear suspension is done. I'm gonna go now gear up to adjust the suspension. We need to do that, that's the last part. And meanwhile, you can check out the VWP factory. That's a sick factory, right? 
okay now it's time that we adjust the suspension so i'm gonna go ahead to the guys and we're gonna make that suspension perfect for my stunt needs let's go What is your suggestion now that we close the rebound? Uh, open the rebound and open close the, the compression. Uh, so it means when I press down it's uh, more harder and more stable. Yes. And when I try to rebound, so to jump on the 90 degrees like a kangaroo stoppy, it will rebound faster. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Max, that's a huge difference. That's perfect that you feel oh, it. Uh, now we had everything closed. Now so we close up the compression and open a little bit the rebound that the fork works a little bit quicker. Okay. We close the compression that it holds you a little bit more up. Exactly. So the compression is now a bit too too hard. So I would like to have about four or five clicks open. I have a softer compression and then I think the rebound is also better right because it has more space to That's right, expand yes, because you have more travel okay travel okay yes. let's do those clicks and then the suspension is okay for the next weeks and i i will need you know it's hard the suspension need to test for longer time not just for uh, one hour to get more feeling and to know exactly how, how it, it feels how it reacts so exactly for 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 the next coming weeks for the trainings that's perfect it's a huge difference than with the stock suspension and we're gonna do that and then we go to the Rear, rear shock. shock and drift a little bit. Okay, Max, uh, I have a feeling it's a bit hard on the rear so what should we do should we try to open something uh, yes i had a look a little bit on your riding style okay. and uh, i have seen a little bit it's too harsh in the rear so when i land when you land it's too harsh it yeah i feel it on my ass point. it's like a very yes. like hard like a stone you can see it also straight away on the tire it's just pushing the tire together uh -huh, uh -huh. okay so but this should be absorbing by the suspension okay so now we try to open up the high speed a little bit that you get on the overall a little bit softer feeling okay and also a little bit on the low speed adjuster to get a little bit more comfort okay and then just try to drift a little bit then we can see a little bit closer if it's in the right direction or not i know it's a lot of information and pretty technical <laughs> hard to remember everything but that's why it takes so long to adjust suspension so let's do this it sounds good i think we're gonna improve yeah. let's let's try it out let's try it out That's it. That's great, huh? Wow. Makes so much fun now. The bike is getting better and better the more we put yeah. up. Yeah, also, you get a little bit more feeling when you're riding. Exactly. So. The bike feels amazing. Thank you, Max. Welcome. For, for building all those suspension 
Right, so um, it's great to watch you to <laughs> have uh, the bike under control. And I'm gonna come back when the bike is fully stunned and then we play a little bit with uh, setup. I'm super pumped. The WP is on my side. It's on the board with us, with the Rockon team. Huge thanks to you and the whole WP team, to Kuti, to Andy, uh, Jan. All those guys are helping us to bring my tricks uh, riding to the next level with their products. And guys, if you want to update 790 Duke or any other KTM bike, you can find the link below. I need to tell you, it makes a huge difference if you change those cartridges or the rear shock or both things. It's a definitely a thing to have. Thanks again, Max. Also, thank you and that you are running with WP. Thank you very much. I cannot wait to come back to the practice spot and ride oh. some more. I cannot wait to come back home and jump some high kangaroos. Right, Dominic? Yeah, I want to film them. You will not need the slow, super slow motion for that because I'm gonna be pretty long in the air promise. So, <laughs> that's a promise that's a promise damn it i did uh, again a promise guys that's it for this time thank you max for bringing me here thank to you. build my bike thanks for watching guys and the most important thing share the vlog with your friends or social media and see you next time until then rock on Get in front!